Hey, what's up everybody? So today's review is on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I really like this movie walking out. I mean, it's not a disappointment at all. Like the action was cool, it was funny as hell, cool characters, but it did have a few minor flaws. But let's talk about what I did like. First off, Baby Groot is adorable. It's like, even, even one of the bad guys, you know, couldn't, couldn't hurt him because he was so adorable. Like there'd be an action scene in the background and like you could easily watch it but the main focus is on Groot, and you're cool with that because it's like, who wouldn't want to see Baby Groot dancing around, riding on dinosaurs and whatnot? Like, uh, I can't, I, I can't help but say it again. But he's adorable, and it's not like he's just, you know, in a baby form, and he's, you know, just as smart as when he was in the first one. Like, no, he's an actual baby. He doesn't know anything. He's, you know, he's he's a juvenile, so you're gonna have to like talk to him as he is an infant, you know. Kurt Russell was perfectly cast as Ego, who was Peter Quill's father. It's like, it, it's Kurt Russell, you know. It's Escape from Escape from New York, uh, Big Trouble in Little China. He he owns the 80s. So, you know, it was perfect to get Kurt Russell. And to see him bonding with Peter, those scenes were great. The main villain in this movie, without giving anything away, was a lot better than Ronan, you know, in the first movie. Like, oh my god, like, what was, what was his purpose? I did not care for that. I did not care for that. He was just there. This one, it's like, oh my god. It's like, you know, every person that they went against, you know, were, were great, was hilarious, was a threat, you know. So, they were a lot better than Rona. That's really all I have to say. Yandu. I, I, I thought Yandu in the first one was awesome, but in this one, it's like, the body count, the kill rate is probably like over 100. And that's because of Yandu. Like, Yandu and Rocket has the best scene in the entire movie. Like, I want to go back and see it just for that scene. The soundtrack, of course... Good soundtrack. I like the soundtrack from the first movie a little better only because the songs that they played in that movie, I haven't heard, I haven't really heard them. This movie, since set in the 80s, I, I listened to a lot of music in the 80s, like I heard all these songs. I'm not saying this is a bad thing, but it just wasn't new to me. I did enjoy how they put, like, which scene they put the songs in. It made for, like, you know, like an action scene. You have this song playing, it's like, okay. That's that's a random that's a random song to be playing for the scene, but it works well. Also, I really like that we get to learn about the characters a lot more. Like in the first one, um, Nebula, like of course you know she hates her sister. She doesn't really care for Thanos, but in this one, it's like you you really understand where she's coming from. You get her her backstory a little more. Thanos is not in this movie, but like when you find out more about Nebula, it's like wow. Thanos is a a dick. Like I cannot wait to see him get his ass whooped in the the next Avengers movie because it's like wow like I see why Nebula is the way she is and I see why you know she has so much hate for Gamora so I really like that you know we we get a little more you know with Drax a little bit and of course Peter and his and his father Rocky again we get to learn a lot more about the characters I don't really like that they split up the group I say like maybe 20 minutes into the movie they you know they go their separate ways I mean because of that we get the you know the best scene in the movie which is um, Rocket, Yandu, and Groot, you know what I'm saying, like the scene I was talking about earlier, that scene was awesome, but, you know, then, you know, we with the other group, and, yeah, we, I enjoy the, the scenes between Peter and Ego, those were great, but then, you know, we have Gamora, I, I cannot stand Gamora at all, and then, you know, we have some cool, funny scenes with Drax and, and Mantis, cool, but, you know, I, like, what, what made the first one so good is the entire group together, them going back and forth, you know, that, that team, that dynamic right there. When we split them up, it's like we don't get that as much. I say the entire group was together out of this two and a half hour movie, it was probably together for like maybe 20 minutes, you know. The humor was funny, but I think that they just tried too hard because the first one, anybody can tell you it was funny, but it felt more natural. This one is like, okay, everybody loved the jokes in the first one, but let's, let's, let's give them more. And it's like they gave us too much. Because the entire, like, Drax the entire time, I felt like his entire his entire purpose for this movie was just to be the comic relief. Like, every bit of dialogue he was throwing at us were jokes. And it's like, while they did, you know, hit, you know, they also felt forced. And it's like, ah, oh, come on. Like, hell, every character had jokes. Even Nebula had, you know, had some jokes. I'm like, okay, this is going too far. And I'm like, come on, like... It's like again, you know, a lot of jokes were funny, but it just it just it just felt forced. So volume two is a good movie. I enjoyed it. It's not as strong as the first one, but it's still an enjoyable movie. It did not disappoint me. And you know, good action, good music, you know, like I said, too much humor, but I still enjoyed it. And the cameos, I don't want to give away any of the cameos. The cameos were awesome. Um Sylvester Stallone, that's not giving up nothing. His name is on a poster. 
you know, um, I enjoyed his role, and hopefully they do something more with his character. But I hate that I have to say this. Marvel has been making movies, you know, at least for this this universe since 2008, the first Iron Man. We're in 2017 now. This is like what? This is like the 20th movie. I, I'm guessing here. Why is people still walking out the theater before the credits over? This is ridiculous. Like the minute the movie, the minute the movie ended, I see like 20 people walk up. It's like, oh my god, are y'all serious? If y'all one of those people, do if y'all are one of those people, do not walk out the theater until the credits are done rolling. I shouldn't have to tell y'all that. There's five post-credit scenes in this movie. Stay until it's all over. Till the lights come on and they tell you to get the hell out. Okay. Thank you. But Guardians of the Galaxy 2, if you've seen it, comment below and tell me what you think. And I will see you next time. Peace.